I'm Dr. Ritty and welcome to Evil Beneath the Ground. Now we've already done a video of this before and if you haven't watched it and you don't know what this is, basically it's a text-based game, so story game, and there's apparently three endings to this. And I'm just curious to see what the other, what the other two endings are like. I mean the first one, yeah, it was pretty decent, it was alright, I, <laughs> I could live with it, even though I technically didn't live, although I did live, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, so we'll start off in the beginning because obviously that's where the story begins even though we have already heard this bit before, but you are a young university student who considers himself as a goth. You're a lonely person, people think that you want to be alone, but in fact you couldn't find someone you felt infinite. Everyone is so distant from you, nobody knows, it listens to the music that you love, like Bauhaus, This Mortal Coil, The Sister Mercy, etc. You heard about the university trip to a lake and the forest around it, it, it in autumn. There would be a picnic. Also, alcohol is permitted. You could bring your own drinks. You join the trip. Not only maybe you could make some new friends, but you also love the nature, especially when the season is cold. It's getting pretty cold at the moment. <laughs> I can feel I can feel a cold like I can feel, feel a cold brewing inside me. It's like oh great, I already have like a sore throat. But anyway, <laughs> but of course you couldn't make new friends once again during the two hours of bus travel. You found out that every other student who joined the trip were already friends. They simply ignored you. You also didn't approach them. As a result, all you could do during the bus trip were looking outside the window or playing games on your phone while you listened to their joyful laughters. You have a mixed feeling against this picnic by the lake. You can't feel yourself as a, as a part of a joyful youth who is enjoying the nature trip. After having a picnic barbecue, they they played a game with a ball in which they formed a circle and tried not to let let the air in air ball touch the ground. Everyone participated in the game except for you. But you joined the nature trip somehow. As said before, you love the nature. You took pictures of the lake with your phone and don't plan on plan to post the pictures anywhere though. Don't plan to post the pictures anywhere though. And there is a huge forest near the picnic area. You have always found peace in the green of the forest. After the sun set, people began to light a campfire and drink. People around your age generally prefer beer, but you don't like it. You feel it overfills your stomach and causes nausea after two cans. Instead, you prefer stronger drinks today. You bought a bottle of red wine and a glass. They gathered around the campfire, which you drank your wine alone away from them. I'm sure this has changed slightly since I last since I, since I last played this, the, the, I don't know, the sentences seem different to me, unless I just remember them differently, I don't know. Anyway, a handsome guy brought us a car, brought, it, brought us his guitar from the bus and began playing it around the fire. While you have finished your second glass of wine, campfire and moon illuminate the darkness, sun has already set. There are about five hours of the picnic to end. You will be going back to the city with buses. He is playing a camp. Uh, he is playing a Carmen song. You might enjoy the group. Might join the group, but you also feel a strong urge to have a walk in the dark forest. This time, because the last time I went into the forest, this time I'm going to join the group. Sorry about my terrible reading. <laughs> you approach your group. Two girls notice you. They open a space for you and to sit down between them. One of them is blonde and the other has long black hair. They wear colourful clothes, contrasting with your black outfit. Uh, how are you? Blonde girl says, we're fine. They neither say anything else or ask how you are. That's a bit, bit, bit rude. <laughs> uh, what are your names? The one black hair says, we, we have boyfriends. That's, that, that's, that's your name? What's your name? We have boyfriends. That, that, that's a weird name. <laughs> I only asked your names, yeah. I pushed F1 instead of 1. <laughs> really asked, I only asked your name. You are trying so hard, aren't you? The blonde says, and they both laugh. <laughs> Fuck you, I've tried to be nice and leave. Okay. They don't li like what you say, <laughs> not surprising, but they don't react, N react neither. They keep sipping their beers as you leave them. They seem lovely. 
you can stay with the other students or go to the forest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and be sociable here. I'm gonna try and stay. <laughs> Nothing interesting happens in the rest of, for the rest of the day. You finish your bottle of wine and can't make any friends as usual. When the time comes, you get on the bus and go back to the city. Yes, it's a lame ending, but at least you are still alive and human. <laughs> that really was that was that the ending, really. <laughs> All right, all right. Yeah, I have a have a background there. I'm not sure if you if you better see that or not. Let's see what the other ending is. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll skip we'll skip all this bit. Really, that was one of the endings. <laughs> very very lame ending. All right, let's go into the forest. You stand up. Yeah, I read that as wanker. <laughs> you stand up and wander away from the camp. You feel the cool of the dark forest. So you walk along the path into the forest. The trees are high and still green. Maybe they stay green in all seasons. You don't know. Your field is not biology. Why is that even like appropriate? Why do you need? Why do you need to add that bit in? I have no idea. But anyway, the soil is wet and muddy. It it must have rained before your group arrived at the lake. You leave boot prints on the soil as you walk. There are no clouds in the sky. Full moon and stars illuminate the forest, but that's not enough for your eyes to turn into for your eyes you turn on the flashlight on your phone there's an app for that too uh, you can't clearly see but notice rabbits in the distance and naturally they run from you as they notice your presence you begin to think that you might have gone too far away from the camp but there's nothing interesting in the camp area you you somehow feel like the darkness of the forest is your friend only friend continue the path you continue on the on, on the forest path after a few minutes, you notice footprints on the soil. They seem to belong to a human with bare, big feet. Probably a man. The prints cross the path. Uh, follow, follow him. That, that's that's because we, we go. We went. We we went where we came. Where he came from last time. So follow him. You follow the footprints on the soil. They keep changing direction. You find yourself at an elevator out of ele elevation and the prints stop here whoever was walking he didn't leave prints prints those you could follow anymore he might have gone anywhere as he didn't follow a single direction <gasps> he turned into a black bat and flew away <laughs> if that's possible uh go to where he came from is this re i don't really want to go to where he came from because we've done that before fine whatever you decide to go to the place where he comes from. After a long walk you find yourself at a hole. There's a we've already done this. What would the other ending be? Not turn into a vampire. Assuming that you watched my first video, if you haven't, please do because I'm gonna skip all of this. <laughs> so it's assuming that you have watched my first video. I'm gonna skip this and if you want to know what this what, what all this says then watch my first video. <laughs> okay, examine the first room. Let's let's. We went to the second room before. Let's go to the third room. You see a chain tied to a wall. It has has a bracket at the end. There are two metal bu uh, buckets. They are both empty. You notice a metal key at the floor. Take the key. The place where you're hiding is made of concrete. There's a lot of yeah, with a lot of stuff, feces and all that stuff. Yep, yummy goodness. Yep. Room two, you're shocked to find a changed woman. Yep, she's she's around forty years old, two weeks. She's she hasn't got she, she's completely hairless, other than her pubic hair. That, that that's rather hairy apparently, and because uh, of you know needed to add that bit in. <laughs> uh, you try to save her. Yeah, why not? You crouch down to to her tied foot. They've added sound effects as well. They didn't used to have sound effects before. <laughs> You crouch down to to tie uh, to to her tied foot because there's, there's only one foot that's been tied. With, with the key you got, you unlock the bra bracklets. She is free. You also notice her pinky toe is missing. Run with her. Yeah, go on then. You hold woman's hand and rush to the ladder. Your other hand holds your phone, so that you enlighten the corridor. But as you reach the ladder, you feel something hit your stomach. You can't understand it. You saw nothing in front of you. But still, there is something. Your phone falls to the ground. 
You can't see anything. The woman screams, Oh no, he came! <laughs> you feel, <laughs> sorry, you feel something, gra you, fe you felt something, you feel something grabs you and smashes your head to the concrete wall. You black out. When you wake up, you find yourself lying on the con concrete floor in pitch darkness. By the smell, you understand that you are you are in the same place. Whoever is keeping you captive, is he stripped you from all clothes. You are naked and cold. There is a gag on your mouth, so you can't shout and communicate with the woman. She might have gag too. <laughs> you stand up and try to walk away, but your ankle is tied with, with a chain. You can walk only in a chamber with one metre of radius. Your foot touches a metal, bu metal bucket. It probably where it expects you to defecate. You lose all senses of time here. You wait for, an, uh, for a measurable time for something to happen. You are thirsty and hungry. Sometimes you hear your phone rings. It is in a different room. The piano melody. It's the fear by, we by within temptation. An ironic name, ironic name for your situation. They probably noticed that we've already read all this. I can't bother to read it all over, all over again. You answer it. Finally, footsteps. Yeah, drink it. Eat. Yep. Stand up. Yep. Sure. Whatever. I, again, just assuming that you that you watched my previous video. <laughs> yep. Yep. I want to be. I want to stay human. There we go. Something different. I want to stay human. Suddenly, you feel a sharp pain in your shoulder. You hear the loud sound of whip. He whips you continuously, feeling zero empathy for the agony you feel on your bare skin. You could be a predator like me. You chose to be a fuck toy. You are mine to tor torment. You, you, do, do you understand, idiot? He shouts at you. He kicks you and leaves you sobbing on the floor. You can do nothing but hope that sweet death will come soon. But it never comes. So you're, you're, a, you're a terrible fuck to it if, if, if it never comes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? Ugh. They were really weird endings. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that that was the end, and sorry for skipping things, but say if if you watched my previous video, you knew what. Well, at least I hope you knew. Hope you remembered what were the missing gaps in between that bit. I couldn't be bothered to read it all, <laughs> even though this video is only like 13 minutes long now. So maybe I should have like read it all. I don't know. <laughs> okay, the other two endings were were interesting. So I just went at home. I tried to socialise with these girls. I asked than what their name was and apparently their names were I have a boyfriend because <laughs> of you, you know m amazing names uh, na parents naming their children now just, it, they're, they're so unique and they're like, wonderful names <laughs> but yeah so I failed talking to these girls so just I just went home on the bus a couple of hours later and um yeah then I decided not to be a vampire, so he turned me into his fuck toy, and but he didn't. He didn't. He didn't come. It's it, it, nothing. Nothing came. Nothing came. Nothing at all. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was definitely worth the wait for the fight. Fight in the endings. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching this. Hope you didn't mind me. I, didn't mind me um, skipping them bits. Basically, what I skipped was him. Yeah, him chaining me up. I he gave me food and drink, and then he took the woman into a room and started whipping her. Basically, because of she was his fuck toy at the time, and um, yeah, so it's, so she was getting basically used. And um, yeah, then he asked me if I wanted to be a be a vampire like him, or be free. But I wasn't free, cause yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought of that, and uh, yeah, that's not what I thought the end would be like.
<laughs> not at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, it's a bit, it's a short video. I'm sorry. Cut out bits, I'm sorry. But yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye bye! Woohoo! <laughs> oh! Such strange endings, what the hell? <laughs>